Bill Swift from Swift Canoe and Kayak, and we have two lovely gals here, Cindy and Lori. And we want to talk a little about advocating for women or people without as much upper body strength, smaller people to paddle, what we're calling independently and perhaps together independently. Okay. And these lovely gals have a great message. They're absolutely wonderful. So where do we start with this? Having a lightweight boat that you can pick up yeah. by yourself that's easy to paddle, it, it's, it's life changing. It is. Yeah, everything from loading it on your car to picking it up on a portage and putting across the portage, across the lakes. I mean, it just gives you the flexibility to go further, deeper, um, explore more. Now, you, you meet up, we just happened on the dock right here. There was another gal here and you, <laughs> you got Leslie to try this Pac-12-6 and now she wants to buy one. Yeah. And it's easy. So you meet other women, you tell them about it and... Yeah, we often say, you know, someone asks about the boats and we just say, don't get us started because we may never stop. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, we, we couldn't be stronger supporters, bigger advocates for, for this little floating piece of perfection. It's, uh, it, it's, it is life-changing, there's no question. If you're interested in backcountry stuff, if you're interested in independence and being able to pick up and go on your own and not have to have somebody help you unload and unload, and um, even if you don't want to do any portaging, just to be able to say, hey, I'd like to go for a paddle today, and I can, is incredible. Now, you gals, I mean, you, you look like you're in good shape for gals of your stature and so on. Why the Pac-12-6 for women? Why, why have you, you have landed on this particular boat? Why, why is it so good? Uh, for me, I, even though there's, I, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think a big weight difference between these and some of the bigger boats. I, it's the maneuverability. I, having an extra foot on the end of this boat, like to go up to a 13-6, 13-8, wouldn't work for what, for, getting into those nice tight little creeks for portaging around tight corners when you know, you're solo carrying. Um, and even for loading and unloading on the car, it's just a little more ungainly. This boat is the perfect length for all of those things. And yeah, it's... It, that, and you raise a good point, Cindy. The people come in all different sizes. So we yes. have small, medium, large. So people often come here and try the different sizes to see which one feels the best to them. Right, right, yeah. Now, how about you, Lori, the, like the Pac-12-6 mm -hmm. for you? Well, why is it this particular product that you think has made you so happy? <laughs> <laughs> it Really, the weight, I think, is, is the biggest thing. Um, I came thinking I wanted a 13-6 because I wanted a little extra room. What if I wanted to pack more gear for an overnight backcountry trip? What if I wanted a bigger dog in here? Um, but when it came to picking it up and loading and unloading this it just it made enough of a difference for me that this was perfect. And now, I mean, it's plenty big enough for all the things I want to do. You could take a dog with Absolutely, and I have. Cindy, you have the pads on your gunnels. Do <laughs> you want to tell the folks what they're all about? This is my very, very fancy pipe wrap. And uh, I just, I use them as paddle dampers. So I do a lot of photography. And when you're paddling and you're trying to sneak up on animals, if you don't have these on, every time you set your paddle down, you get that. By having these, it just dampens the noise of the paddle, so you don't hear anything when you set it down, it softens it. The other benefit is the number of times I would set my paddle down and it would start to roll away on me. Um, this stops them. It it's a little it. bit of a break, so they won't, uh, yeah, they won't roll, it won't roll off in the same way. So, yep, yeah, little piece of, I don't know, $2 pipe wrap and you'll get a lifetime of paddle dampers. <laughs> and then Lori uses a longer version of it to actually load the boat on the car and yes. to pad yeah. the padding against the roof a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It works great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. She, she makes me use them too because I make too much noise. Yeah. So we both use them now. You're making I, paddle noise. Yeah, we. it's a great feature to have. It's so inexpensive and it, it makes it so much more usable. And yeah. sneaking up on wildlife is fun. Yes, it is. It is. I, I went out this week just for a quick little paddle from our cottage and I forgot them and got up to a, uh, was paddling with a juvenile loon that hadn't taken off to migrate yet. And I, I, was, I, I was trying to find pieces of towel or something just because it was every, it doesn't matter how gently you try to set it down, you still get that tick, tick. 
that noise that alerts them to someone around. So that yeah, makes well, a big difference. Well, your happiness and joy in the boat. You can feel <laughs> the energy from it. Let's hope that it helps inspire lots of other women to, to paddle also and kayaks and lightweight pack boats. Yeah, absolutely. So thank you for this message. Yeah, no, thank you for the boats. They're amazing. <laughs> thank you for developing this. It's, uh, there's nothing like it.